Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Coach Swift. Uh, back here on this episode, uh, this is something that not a lot of coaches have been talking about uh, recently that I can remember, but it's definitely something that uh, poisons the sports performance and uh, sports skills uh, industry, okay? So, parents, uh, you've, you've gotten the calls, you've gotten messages, you've gotten text messages, emails, and they're like, Hey, I know you do this. We're looking to uh, finally get some help on this. I've been following for a while. It's great. But can my son uh, or daughter, can they try your training out for a couple sessions and see how they like it? Um, you know, on one hand, it does feel great to let somebody try things out because even the fitness industry, you know, CrossFit, uh, all these boot camp classes, um, even one-on-one -on -one personal trainers will give somebody a free trial uh, to let them sign up uh, before letting them sign up, see how they like it. Uh, but the thing is with sports is one, you have the parent calling. And so while the parent has good intentions that my, if my kid goes, Hey, I know that they're going to put in great effort and we'll see from there. If they like the workout, they clicked well with the coach. Okay. Uh, so it, it's coming from a good uh, from a good heart, I think. But the problem is, one, there's still no commitment and dedication to that after one or two sessions that you uh, let them try out. Okay, and in this program, as you know, we are all about the commitment and dedication because transformations that the parent and athlete are looking for with you, the coach, takes time. Right? It takes time. It takes effort. It takes work. And we need that to be consistent and ongoing, uh, you know, throughout time. No, duh, right? So I usually, uh, I began saying no to this. In the very beginning, though, uh, because I learned this from other people, is I used to say, yes, of course you can uh, come and try out. Um, so on one hand, it could be a great way for parents and the athlete to see what you're all about, how they interact with you. And then you can get them signed up. And, you know, after a while, I would have that um, ability to sign them up right there. So I didn't really think anything bad about it. The problem is if you're running an actual structured training program and you let somebody come in, then that kind of waters down the program that you have laid out for your other two, three, four, five, six athletes in that group that you already had a scheduled program for, okay? Uh, this person's coming in, just try for a couple of days, and these people over here are on month two of block three months, you know, working on acceleration, max velocity, whatever it is, you know, sports uh, performance coaching lingo. And so that causes an issue right there. Uh, it waters down the value of what you're doing. And I'm not saying that kid can't uh, keep up with the other athletes. They may be just as good, if not better. But what if they're not, even the same age, the same sport, the same experience level, what if they're just not better and it brings everybody else down, okay? It's not a good enough group, uh, especially if the other kids don't know this person. Um, you know, it's different if those other kids in the group that are five kids, this is one of their friends and teammates and they would try out. Those cases, I might do it, uh, but I think the best thing to do is... Um, you set up certain days and times uh, for parents to come in on their own evaluation. So one, you get to interact with that one kid or other kids who are all starting fresh on evaluation, okay? So you can do a free evaluation days um, and you maybe you have that on your calendar. People can sign up and that's how they get in first, see if they like it. Uh, two, you can still charge for those. Um, I tell, I, I get so busy now that I tell people, I was like, uh, I say, nope. Actually, you cannot just come and uh, try out a couple sessions because we don't just jump into working out. I was like, I say, day one is an evaluation. That's where we build a rapport with each other. I look at quality movement. I look at testing metrics, and we go from there, okay? Um, I'm looking for dedicated, uh, committed people who are ready to go. And if you are that dedicated, committed, let's start talking. Let's do this, okay? Let's rock. And... A lot of them uh, will be like, okay, okay, you know, you twist my arm. How do I get signed up then? Usually it's not an issue, especially when you've established yourself as the authority figure at what you do, okay? And you're very consistent at how you handle 
uh, the market and everybody within your uh, school, your academy, okay? So there's testing and evaluation days that people can do. Uh, maybe that's their tryout uh, and you're looking at from a number standpoint, a movement quality standpoint, but it's not something that they can just jump in with anybody else randomly uh, that is ahead of them in a program. Uh, these are people who are just like them uh, or maybe the people who are uh, wanting to get started, but they just need an evaluation day. Either way, they're ground zero, okay? Uh, two, you hear Ben, Leo, and everybody talking about uh, free camps and clinics. That could also be a free time to where they um, they get to try you out, okay? You have a weekend clinic or a three-hour clinic uh, and two Saturdays. They can try you out. And if they like that three-hour clinic, maybe they'll go and they'll sign up for the next ones you have on a schedule uh, every other weekend that are paid. Maybe they'll come in and be like, you know, we'd love that. And we can we would definitely want to talk to you about your, uh, your flagship program that's every week. Uh, one or two days a week, the hour program. We definitely want to know what that's about and how do we get into that. Okay, so don't let people just jump in. Yeah, cool. Come in anytime you want. I'll let you try it out. Um, it's not a taste testing at a grocery store, okay? And we all mean this in all good fun, but I think the standards have been raised because you could do more harm uh, or at least just water things down for all your existing athletes if you just stick them in there for a tryout. Versus you just have a testing or clinic free tryout day, okay? So take control and separate those. Uh, you, you'd be surprised. Parents will see the benefits in that a lot better because you can say, I'm looking at everything that everybody is novice and I'm not having to worry about my more intermediate advanced athletes over here uh, who are at a different point in the program and worry about your kid uh, not mixing well with them and both of them having a bad experience and we just had an inaccurate tryout, okay? Um, take control of this. Uh, you'll see a lot of uh, convergence from it and people are just going to be a lot more respectful that you're authentic like that, okay? Uh, so if you like this comment, make sure you're subscribed. Share it to all your other sports formants and sports coaching skills friends. Uh, send me a text, 210-414-3077. Uh, ben Neighbors' number is also in the description. And let us help you grow your business uh, this summer and help you thrive throughout the rest of 2023.